action. Kanye West pays $200,000 a month in child support. $200,000 as a woman. What do you think about that number? I, I just keep thinking about myself. <laughs> you, you'd be so excited if they told you that you had to get $200,000 a month from the person you had a child with, like a baby. I right? would be so grateful. <laughs> oh my. Hold on. Like, I'd be grateful if a woman had to pay me $200,000 a month. That's a lie. I would not. I do not want to use the government to extort anybody. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's extortion, man. Like, right. I look at, I think child support should be abolished immediately. That is any person, because there are some women who pay child support, but 85% of people who pay child support in America yeah. are men, okay? Yeah, for sure. I want to look at this from, like, an economic standpoint, because, I, like, I could focus on Kanye West, but the man is worth upwards to a billion dollars but mm -hmm. even still when you take that out at two hundred thousand dollars a month 10 months that's two million dollars is 2.4 mm -hmm. million dollars holy christ 2.4 million dollars a year <laughs> we up in child support <laughs> like i'm sorry yeah and then and crazy. then but see like if she was i can't even i cannot rationalize using a weapon and the, the state is a weapon you know yeah you see like Women run to the government because they think that they don't have enough power in the relationship to control a man. And so they go to the, the courthouse and they have the court tell the police to go tell the man. Well, that's just it. They're using the wrong tools. You don't control anybody. I mean, like we had to negotiate to have the baby. Like I had to whisper sweet nothings in your ear. Not really. The world we live in right now. All I got to do is say, hey, what's <laughs> up? Are you DTF? <laughs> And then I get some of that good old Cuda Cat. Boy, that Gina be so fantastic. <laughs> but then I get that Gina, and for 18 years, 18 years, I got to pay a monthly mm -hmm. fee just because I got a piece of booty. And I think that's completely irrational. I know most most women in America would say, uh, you made the decision to have a child. No, no, no. No, no. I just made the decision to put my Wayne Tang inside of your hoo-ha. <laughs> That's all I did. I was horny on a Tuesday. It was a beautiful thing. The <laughs> sun was up. shining. No, 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 no. It was 2 a.m. and I was drunk and you were there. What's up? It was 2 a.m. I mean, I mean, <clears throat> they could say I was being irresponsible with that good old Wayne Tang, but uh, I knew that I was going to go home and, and you just let me. You, why you let me? Why you let me nut in you for? I just feel like in other <laughs> life decisions, like it, like you have to pull yourself up and take the L on some things. Like as a woman, if I had a child with somebody that wasn't willing to be, you know, a part of that, I would just have like life does that with a lot of things. Or or have the capacity to negotiate because the same way we had to negotiate to have the sexual encounter is the exact same way we should negotiate on the type of life we're going to have. I negotiated with my daughter's father. Um, I'm so when proud I of you because that. you didn't say no baby daddy. Oh, no. My child's father. She wanted, she wanted to be so respectful. Uh, my child's, yeah. my, my daughter's father. Yeah, yeah. Father. Mm, father. He's wonderful. I mean, I guess. I had to because, negotiate, though, because yeah, I didn't learn about that. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You taught me about, a lot. when we first met, you were, like, educating me on, like, what is child support and, like, really what the laws are. And I was calling him. And I'll never forget, because, like, like you said, I have a different type of relationship with him. But I had a homeboy when he found out my daughter was going back to stay with him. Because mm -hmm. we were doing a year here and a year there and so forth. And he was like, you better um, get, this is a black man telling me what I should do to yes. another black man. Yes. You should go um, get um, custody. You should file for custody. Okay. Because if he, if your daughter goes over there and he files for custody, then you'll be shitted. He was a black man who was concerned for your economic interest because he knows that the person who has custody of the child can uh, request economic payments right. from the other person. And I had to learn that. So what I did was instead of being in fear and running to the courtroom, right, yes. I called her father and okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. Uh, uh, you don't have to be very specific, but have you known this person for more than five years? The person that gave me that advice? Uh, your child's father. Yes, I've known him more than five so years. So you kind of have an idea of the, his character. Right. Okay, okay. See, that's that's very important because that gives you the ability to engage in conversation and dialogue on a, on a good faith basis. True. And so you knew that instead of running to the state, it's like, man, he wouldn't do that to me. Now, some people will, but it's important to know who I'm having sex with. I was right in the courtroom. I was only there because I was filing a DBA. And I said, well, while I'm here, let me go down here and ask, like, what is this? Like, what would happen? And when they told me they would serve in papers, it just felt very much like 
backstabbing. And so I called him and I was crying like we can do something to protect both of us. Like, do you want to do joint? Do you I mean, not joint, but when when you shared your fear with him, what, what was his response? He said he would never do that to me. Holy Christ, because most fathers in America are not going to try to extort the person they had a child with. I might not like you, but because I don't like you, it doesn't have anything to do with that baby. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to respect you. Just meet me in a place of peace and understanding, and we can do this thing together. It's a collaborative effort. I know mm -hmm. that some people do not have a relationship with a child they're having uh, the, with the person they had a child with. Right. But that's a you issue. You should be able to control who you're putting that, you know? Huh? Yeah, yeah. But... Honestly, like nine times out of 10, men are happy that they have a child. They love looking at their seed. Like they are proud of the fact that they have something that came from them. I heard this statistic somewhere that 40% of men in every civilization never reproduce. Never reproduce. Never reproduce. 40% of men in America will never have a baby. Wow. That's pretty high. And so, so it, man... The numbers are starting to get so nasty because we've put in a, a dollar amount on 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 romance. Like yeah. there's there's a financial incentive to fall in love, which means I don't really think that many people are falling in love. They're trying to they're trying to collect the check. Yeah, and that's the thing. That's why I'm so curious to challenge the woman because I don't know. Maybe I do come from a privileged place. I'm not with a erratic man that I'm so mad at I'm so mad at 50 cent right now 50 cent I'm so <laughs> mad at you how dare you rap some song talking about have a baby by me baby and be, be a millionaire, millionaire. what I was, holy <laughs> Christ I love that song <laughs> why, the, why would you perpetuate a system of extorting men for penis right right man that's insanity yeah it like, really is I believe it's my personal opinion no one's gonna they if you don't want if, if a man says I'm not paying child support he's a low down bum scum whatever i'm a reasonable person i gotta pay my rent mm -hmm. okay my neighbor just told me that they raised her rent to a thousand and twenty three dollars a month mm -hmm. huh i don't have the resources to pay my rent feed myself clothe myself and take care of my children and send money to their mother i don't mm -hmm. have resources like that it's irresponsible for me to think that i'm i can't take care of myself but i'm going to take care of someone else and then if i don't i'm a criminal Right. Or a terrible person or a deadbeat. Yeah. No, I think that every woman in America, every person in America that uses the state as a weapon against the person they had a child with. You are a terrorist. Uh, a shout out to Mr. Palmer. Mr. Palmer calls him baby mama terrorist. Huh? <laughs> baby mama, <laughs> mama BMT. He got a whole mm -hmm. song. And so I know that there are people who are advocating for equality when it comes to reproductive rights and child rearing. But to understand that. Not mm -hmm. only do you have to take care of yourself and feed yourself, right. I have to do the exact same thing. And mm -hmm. and so I look at child support as a weapon against middle class and poor families. It's a market. For you sure. It's a market. I think it's a, it's worse than a pistol. They man. made it. Yeah. And that's why I was asking, like, what even made child support laws? You were saying that it was for the married. Man, uh, <laughs> Gerald, Gerald Ford in, in 1975, you know. I can't say that he read the entire bill of what was going to be mm -hmm. the child support things. I just know that he felt like his daddy walked out on him. He had some daddy issues. <laughs> and so he said, every man in America, you're going to be accountable for these children. Oh, shit. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I put it on. Sorry. Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Now I have to edit. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a lot. No, it's not. It's, that's not even <laughs> okay, sorry. Get situated. I, I had that. Like, I wondered that so much because, you know, like, I have to address race. Be black people in America, they talk, they talk about the bad, bad white man. The bad, bad white man. Number one, okay, like. If you look at the the power system, I'll mm -hmm. probably I would, I would probably say the majority of powerful people in America are white men, right? Mm -hmm. But then if you look at the data of say the majority of white men in America are not powerful people, the majority of white men in America are in working class America, mm -hmm. paying child support just like me. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That hey man, that's a unifying thing that most men in America, if you decide to have a child and the relationship fails, you're going to be on child support, and that means that you're going to have to make a decision. I'm going to support my child, and even if my ex-wife or the person I had a child with it has someone else and is giving government assistance, she's going to have three forms of income. Her new man, government <laughs> assistance, and me. 
when I'm trying to, uh-huh. when I'm eating top ramen. Yeah, it's forcing accountability. And it, and I don't, because if somebody was to try to force me, if the shoe was on the other foot, I know us women would be outraged. Like, we would. The most accountable thing is to have a family structure for two people to negotiate how we're going to have a relationship and how we're going to raise this child. Yeah. And if we're not going to be together, then we have to have shared parenting time. If we have to like go half on daycare, whatever it mm-hmm. is, we have to negotiate that. And if you tell the, the state to turn me into a criminal and to incarcerate me, mm-hmm. This does nobody any good. There is a war on families. There's a war on men. Mm-hmm. And all the while they're passing bills that are anti-human. And I say anti-human is any behavior that does not produce life. Right. They're yeah. investing in, 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 uh, all types of reproduct. like, goodness gracious. I don't want to like, I don't want to try to control a woman's body, but I, at the same time, I don't want a woman to try to control my body. Mm-hmm. But I can't say that out loud because then a woman would try to shame me and say, you just need to be a man or you shouldn't have <laughs> sex. But women are mad now because the government is trying to control our bodies by saying, if you get an abortion, this will happen to you or they're abolishing the drug to to, of abortion. I want to be because, you know, it's, it's so bad. I don't want to censor your speech, but artificial intelligence will censor your speech mm-hmm. and um, sending little babies to go see Jesus to talk about that conversation. For some reason, it trips the algorithm mm. and they get so sad because oh, they don't okay. want to acknowledge the fact that 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 is not a good thing. Yeah. And so they'd rather they'd rather uh, see a woman get so mad and say, you can't tell me what I can do with my body. But simultaneously, she'll tell a man, well, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have had sex with yeah. me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, baby, you shouldn't open that door. I wouldn't have shouldn't came we in. share the accountability? Yeah. But there, there's no reason to share it when you have a big weapon mm-hmm. called Uncle Sam. Yeah. Uncle Sam, daddy. I call him Uncle Daddy. I just don't see the productivity. And I feel like maybe I'm naive. I've never had a conversation with a woman that really feels like that is her only option. You have to be so careful because you sitting here and having this conversation with me, there's a whole group of women out there. So you pick me. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Remember that? Man, (laughs) how dare you? You try to spend like Mm -hmm. to be responsible and to actually practice and believe equality makes me for for the black community to make me a coon mm. and for you for the female community to make you a pick me. Yeah. Hey, there there's a war on the poor and poor people are fighting against each other and not yeah. against the classes above them. Yeah, let's be <laughs> let's really be a, prioritize what we should battle against for real. I heard this individual, he's like a big YouTuber, his name is Anton Daniels and mm-hmm. he said that poor men should not he specifically said that men who receive public assistance should not uh, have children. And when I heard that, all it did is it took me back. It took me back to the welfare system. And uh, prior to 1977, it might have been some cases after 1977. But if a a black woman was uh, on government assistance and she had a daughter that was uh, a hit, excuse me, they hit puberty. Mm -hmm. They're going to get that that, that child a hysterectomy. Mm -hmm. They were sterilizing little girls because they that idea that poor people shouldn't have babies and so they were sterilizing children and so to hear a black man to tell black people they shouldn't have children because they're poor i was like do you understand your history and i'm not even trying to be ugly to you but come on like that's an irrational conversation to have that conversation is saying that the majority of men in america should not reproduce and that's not based on government assistance that's just based on economics yeah Mm -hmm. and so and so like men in america had to fight a for labor rights so they can make enough money to sustain their family. And then we had a competing ideology of feminism and the feminist said that I need to go to work. And so now you got men and you got women in the workplace competing with men for the exact same position. Mm-hmm. Now they have it. They got 50 percent of the workforce and they do not want to have 50 percent of a civic responsibility. <laughs> Instead of thinking of it like we both are making money. So let's just both come together and make a p- pot of money let me take your money too and i'll keep mine thank you yeah I'm, i've heard women say that his money is my money and my money is my money <laughs> and she getting a child support check i'm like how dare you but you know they say in america you have to have six streams of income to make it huh yeah uh, shit the motherfucker got five baby daddies <laughs> if it ain't about the money <laughs> don't be I'm they said don't you. say that don't body shame that motherfucking hot pussy ass girl I know I'm <laughs> leaning all the way in because it's, it doesn't make pussy any is sense power. <laughs> and that's why most of these women carry the way they do because they know it's powerful slanging that gene on every single block and you ain't got no responsibility when you have all the authority 
And use your powers for good, women. Like, you don't use it for inequity. That's all I'm saying. Hey, here's a news flash to all you liberal, progressive people. There has never been a man in the history of the world that has had a baby. Never in the history of niggadom. I don't give a dang about no transformer ideology <laughs> ever. I don't care what you call yourself. Mm-hmm. A baby comes from a womb. Mm-hmm. And if you start to deviate from this basic, simple biology, then we start talking about babies being created in some type of uh, the Matrix type style, right? right? Mm-hmm. Where they grow a baby in a farm and pluck a baby and drop them into the world and say, go go be free, yeah, baby. Doing God's work, yeah. Anti-human ideology. Right now we're competing with with uh we're in a class war right now and then we're uh we're fighting against artificial intelligence artificial intelligence tells me what i can and can't say right now yeah i'm fighting a war for free speech i'm just trying to exist and i got uninformed individuals saying most the most ridiculous things it's just is so much to fight against like who needs to be fighting against each other on top of the powers that be we are supposed to be making love right you having a romantic relationship with me is not supposed to be a financial transaction that's insanity right it started off in love but then when it didn't go your way i saw you and i liked you because you had a fat ass (laughs) you looked at me and you said i bet that nigga got a big wallet (laughs) right (laughs) a big wallet that's all she thought i did not think you were gonna go there she ain't look at me and said that they got a big old wang time. I thought that's where you were going. That's I'm not, not, I'm not that arrogant. I think that's where a woman <laughs> scorned, like when a woman is scorned and bitter, it will have her do some irrational things. And I think women, for those women that, and I'm just imagining like if you're a woman and you really, in your heart of hearts, really feel like child support is a choice. Like I would like to know your rationality, but in my, when I think about it, I feel like it's a woman that was in love. Mm-hmm. The man did some things that maybe she didn't agree with and she became a woman that was scorned and bitter. I want to interject. Yeah. I think she's just poor. Mm-hmm. I think most women who want child support are economically challenged people mm-hmm. and they don't know how they're going to re- get the resources to raise this child. Okay. And they do not have the humility to be a feminine woman and go to that man and just be of service and a good woman. And so they project and say, you and me, you supposed to have this. Hey, like if you're man, you just decide to be an amazing woman, whatever that man needs to be a provider. If he needs you to make his lunch, if he don't, if he ain't good at having no resume, baby, you have to support the man because that person right there is the only person who gives a damn about that child. Right. And so you better have a vested interest in that man. Yeah. If you run to the state and go tell the state to come and tell me what to do. My agenda right now is for every American man who's on child support. We need 10 million American men to go to your uh, capital of your city, your city or your state mm-hmm. and to go tell these people you're not going to hold me hostage financially anymore. Yeah. I, you can't tell me to take care of another person's family when I can't take care of myself. Yeah. That's irrational. And right. if you tell me that I need to have the financial resources to do it, then I need a national labor contract. Mm-hmm. I need every man in America to be guaranteed $27 an hour with paid vacation and paid sick leave and paternal leave if you make that a federal mandate then we can have a conversation on you telling me to go take care of my responsibilities until then <laughs> you're going to take your hands out of my pocket yeah because it's forceful yeah but it's extortion it's coercion yeah. Yeah, and, and if you don't pay it, you're going to get locked up. And, and I'm when you so get mad. out of jail, you can't have your driver's license. Kanye West, I'm mad at you, brother. Like, you over there talking about some Jews, and the only thing that you should be talking about is the <laughs> abolishment of child support. I swear to goodness, if Kanye West right, ran for president right. and said, I'm going to abolish child support, he'd win. That would be so dope. There'd be so many mad women in around the world. So many men don't vote. And so if you want to get men engaged in, in the political system, Make a financial incentive. Mm -hmm. If you vote for me, Republican Party, this is a key. This is a key talking point. If you want to have people come vote for you, (laughs) you tell men in America that you're going to abolish child support and watch how many people come vote. I think that would free up a lot of the debt in America. (laughs) And and any woman and any woman, if you want to force child support, I dare 10 million women to go to the, the capitals just like the men and go have a standoff. 
Don't do it. Don't listen to him. <laughs> women do not go down there and face off because these women already think they go so hard. I am an Don't American person. I believe in fighting for freedom. And if you want any liberty in America, I think you should, you should be willing to fight for it. You should be willing to do whatever it takes to get that freedom and that liberty. You should stand behind those men that are fighting for their freedom and just support them and the fact that that's what they need. I believe that every every woman in America has the right to, to choose who she engages in sexual encounters with. For sure. Every woman in America has the right to decide whose child that she would have. For sure. And I have the right not to like you. Mm-hmm. And you can have that baby. I don't want to have anything to do with you or that baby. What's up? Yeah. And you can't tell me not to have sex. I, that's my human right to be able to have a healthy yeah. sexual relationships. Yeah. You, you better stop being ridiculous. It is your right. I mean, and, you know, to those women that hate that, the fact that he said that, I mean, it's painful, but that doesn't mean that it's not true. Somebody can choose not to like you the same way that you choose not to like. You know what's painful? Mm. I ain't seen my children in 13 days. Mm. That's painful. Yeah. And and so, like, based on my, my divorce decree, my ex-wife gets to see my children 66% of the time, and I get to see my children 33% of the time, maybe, because some she has the power to say, yeah, yeah, they're not coming this weekend. Yeah. And and I can you could talk all that fly talk if you want to talk all that fly ass talk, but I'm going to go to the court, and I'm going to do this. Man, go, mm. go to family court with no lawyer. A matter of fact, just go file a piece of paper and see how long it takes to even get through the process. It'll be so many weekends that have passed, and now she's mad at you because you went to the court and put papers on her. Yeah. Like, this system is so nasty, but we won't talk about the economics of the system and how it is a class war on the poor, and we are not fighting back. Yeah. I'm so ready to fight back. You see, I'm hype, right? Yeah, you hype. I'm very hype. Passionate, yeah. I'm so sick and tired of these people trying to tell me what I can and cannot do with my personhood. Mm Mm-hmm. And I'm so sick and tired of, of wealthy uh, black men looking at me and telling all of a sudden black men uh, simulated to the to the <laughs> mm-hmm. to middle class America, upper middle class America. And their rhetoric is the exact same. Just pull yourself <laughs> up by your bootstraps, boy. Work a little harder, boy. Yeah. Take away your all your whole autonomy. If I could do it, you can do it, too. Just because you don't make a certain amount doesn't mean you don't. That means you don't deserve some of the basic God given luxury I mean, and like, blessings. In we're life. taking this modern society and we're looking at like, our, our entire life is based on economics. Mm-hmm. And so we're not having no children because we can't afford to. But when it's your God given human right to make babies. Right. You should be fighting that system to say, you need to make sure that I have an economy where I can flourish and raise a family because that's the only way you have a strong nation. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is for real power. Mm -hmm. All that motherfucking selfish talk, that's not power. Mm -hmm. You don't care about anyone else. And everything that I'm saying is going to have a response of negotiation. Yeah. I'm empowering everybody by taking away the soul power from one person. Yeah, it's going to force people to have better relationships. It's going to force <laughs> it's going to force you to be responsible with that most powerful thing that you got between your legs. Yeah, I bet you if child support wasn't a thing, but just be keeping <laughs> They got the most powerful gift in the world. They can you give might, life. You might think twice for you just all willy nilly go dilly dally. <laughs> 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 There's individuals mm-hmm. who are having this conversation about bad behavior. Shout out to Minister Jap. He said, uh, "Hard dick and cheap liquor." <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> That's a terrible combination. That's, I'm just saying, like. Without without the financial responsibility of taking care of, of the baby that you make, all you got to do is be like, man, I'm going to put that nigga on child support. Yeah. And so for every halfway handsome man who has halfway decent sex who can afford some halfway decent liquor, mm-hmm. your panties is off. Right. And I'm like, holy Christ. I mean, as a halfway decent man in this economy right now, the amount of good, wonderful women that's just ready to be nasty is like, it's kind of nasty. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what's that song? I like a nasty, nasty. I mean, it's rhetoric everywhere. But both sides aren't being honest about, okay, she needs child support because, like you said, she's poor. And she's not being honest about the fact that she needs a family. That she needs a family. Every, <laughs> all of us want a family. I don't care what y'all say. I am one of the women. Like I am the epitome of what it looks like for a boss to have a baby. Like, my mom was a straight-ass go-getter 
And that's what I've done. And I'll tell you, I've made the choice to not have my family. And the lessons that come with that are very bittersweet. Thank you so much for being vulnerable to share that story. So many people will have an opinion, but your opinion about my life and her life has no bearing on our lives. Like <laughs> right, the no, whole we point good. is to empower you with information <laughs> on the struggle of being a human person. Yeah, I'ma say the shit that half of y'all women are willing to say, and that is you like the tr the traditionalism, the principles that the traditionalism offers, but there we're in this new school age and we're being fed all this rhetoric of being what it is to be, oh, I don't need a nigga for nothing. Like <clears throat> and it's just really sucks that we have to find this hybrid of like I need a woman for emotional, mental support. I need someone that I can be able to confide in and have a balance as well as to just be able to plan and strategize on how we're going to navigate this family. <laughs> just execute. Right. Yeah. Like ju just to have a partner in this thing called life. That's this whole human experience is to work together in a collaborative effort to do beautiful things. And I tell you what, the higher you get up in your goals, the more you realize you can't do it alone. You need help. <laughs> you can't. Hey, uh, this is a, I'm looking for wonderful, talented creators to come and work <laughs> with me. Like, like if you have, if you disagree with anything that was said in this conversation, come sit down yeah, on this couch and have a conversation. Come yes. talk about it. You could be in the comment section. That's great. I like the engagement, but I want an engaged people. American citizens have to work together and have a conversation on how we improve the quality mm -hmm. of this nation. And that's not race included. That's everybody, man. It's time to get powerful. Yeah. Would you do a video if somebody like called in? Would you like speak to them on video? Perhaps. <laughs> I got 18 megabytes a second over here, so my internet connection is not that great. We will make it work. I tell you what, uh, mm -hmm. you send some money to the uh, dollar sign PJDDY cash app, yes, mm -hmm. and we're going to buy the equipment to make this show go on. Invest mm -hmm. in power, invest in freedom, because you are the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. Yay, yay. <laughs> the greatest American alive. 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 I just this just pondering the idea that I could be in a regular in a cordial relationship with a man and then he can just leave and then I can get a court order saying that he can get half of what I make. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, I'm with you. I'm riding with you. I'm just laughing because, like, just to process that shit to hear a woman say that out loud, it almost blew my fucking mind. Okay. That was all my, <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm going to count this shit. I'm going to count this shit. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay. We're on. We're, we're recording.